Today, we're looking at Colorverse Sunspot. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, Colorverse Sunspot is a black ink. To make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I put the ink into a different pen for a day. I then put it into a cross bailey with a medium nib to take my notes for this video. Now, before we get to the writing samples, let's look at the sciency bits. Up first is the chromatography. And I agree with Vita that I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down and immediately put it into water for 10 to 15 seconds. And what we see is very interesting. This is very much a dark, dark brown across the bottom that's like a brown black. And it's pushing its way up to where we see a nice dark purple across the top. Now those colors together is what helps this have such a super dark black about this ink. Blacks are best made from other colors, not just black. The one on the right, I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into water. And that line across the bottom is much more there, much darker. It's really seeped in. And the purple on the top looks lighter, which makes me feel that it hasn't traveled as far and that some might be staying behind in the line at the bottom. I feel like there might be a lot of resistance to this one. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to perform on a page, and more importantly, how hard it might be to clean from your pen. Now, I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, it handles itself very well. Now that extra fine goes to a medium, but it doesn't become blurry and unreadable. It doesn't get blown out, which makes me feel okay using it in a note-taking situation. I'm surprised it had that much response when we look at what happened with water. Now water did move all the darkest parts of the ink away, but it left a lot behind that was not budging off the paper. Pen flush had the same problem. It was taking all of those darkest tones away but leaving a lot of ink in its place. One third bleach solution was even struggling at it. You see where there was a very, that small drop of the one third bleach solution, and you do see it starting to go away. You still see this kind of khaki brown color left behind, making this kind of a pain to clean this ink out of your pen if it's been in there a little too long. Uh, uh. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average viscosity of 2.5, with a realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Colorverse Sunspot has a viscosity of 2.69, making it normal. To find my average dry times, I use my writing samples done with the extra fine and medium nib on Clairefontaine, Tomoe River, and Rhodia paper. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Colorer Sunspot has an average dry time of 18 seconds, making it normal. But this is another one of those inks that where it comes up normal in viscosity and dry time is about in the same spot on the bell curve, and just as a math nerd, I find that interesting. Now, let's look at the writing samples. I pick this ink up in sample form, and to keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's take a look at the Clairefontaine. If I can separate the page. There it is. We get... No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 is a nice, dark, rich black. It is no feathers, spread, halo, sheen, and no shading, and I prefer my blacks to not shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shading. It's nice, and 13 seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shade, 17 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both shows no color variation. We didn't expect any. We didn't get any. In the smear test, you could likely recover if you smeared while you were writing. 
Tomoy River, no bleeding, plenty of ghosting, though 1.1 has. No feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1. It has no feather spread, halo sheen, no shading. 20 seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the 1.1. It has no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. 27 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation, and we didn't get any. And the smear test, I do not think you could recover if you smeared this while you were writing. This ink, I don't know that it's the blackest black that I've used, but it is, I think it, I think it might be pretty close in writing, not in swabs. In a swab, it doesn't look like the blackest black. In writing, it looks super black. And it's beautiful. Rhodia paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1. It's not even lightening up for being thinner lines. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shading. 15 seconds to dry. The medium keeps that nice dark tone. Same as the extra fine and the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, and no shading. 18 seconds to dry. The extra fine and the medium scrubby show no color variation, and we get none, thankfully. And you could recover this smear. It's not so much on camera. It's normally the opposite on camera. There. You could definitely see the lines underneath that smear. You could recover it if you smeared while you were writing. Life paper. I really do enjoy life paper. I use it a lot as my notebook paper. As I go get their CD notebooks and love them. We get no bleeding. Very, very minor ghosting. And it's a very dark black ink. The 1.1 has no feather spread. Halo sheen. No shading. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1. It has no feather spread. Halo sheen. No shade. 11 seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade, 17 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. And the smear test you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. Levenger. No bleeding and no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shade. Wonderful. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shade, 6 seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade, and 11 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect any, we didn't get any. In the smear test, you could recover this if you smeared while you were writing. I do wish this was cheaper to get in bottles because I think this is a great, great black ink. Franklin Kristoff. Now we get some spots here on the medium where it definitely seeps a bit deeper into the page. It is not bleeding through, but there is bleeding deeper into the page. There's no, uh, you know, other than the scrubby, I'm ignoring that, but I'm looking at the medium right here. So we get some spotting, but it does not come through. It does not touch the page underneath. I believe you could use the back of the page. There's no ghosting. The 1.1 is no feather, spread, halo, sheen, and no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade, five seconds to dry. And the medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the 1.1. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade, eight seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it, and we didn't get it. The smear test you could likely recover if you smeared while you were writing. And that is all that I have for the writing sample. Instead of finding inks that look like Colorverse Sunspot, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. Now, being a very dark black, I really wanted something brighter. I wanted a nice green. I chose Dimine's Classic Green. But you can choose any color to go with black. Before I give my opinion on this ink, I would ask, if you've enjoyed this video, 
give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I would invite you to subscribe. So what do I think of Colorverse Sunspot? This is a perfectly dark, dark black ink. It performs very nicely in every pen. It does have a little bit extra effort in clean out, so I wouldn't put it into a piston filler. Just use a converter and everything's fine. Now when you use this on broader, wetter pens, that purple undertone really makes this a super dark black ink. This might be one that people would want to look at for their whole blackest of black journeys. Thanks for watching.